Okay, so I have made this video a few times and um, I'm going to do it one more time. Um, hopefully this will be the last time. I feel like it was too scattered the last video, so I'm going to redo it. Um, Lord, I want to lift up this time to you right now. I pray that you um, come into this space, God. Be with us right now. Speak through me the words that you want your children to hear and um, allow them to hear it the way you want them to hear it. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, so the Lord disciplined me a couple of weeks ago and it was over a medical bill that I hadn't paid. Um, <clears throat> and truth be told, I... I, when he did this, I paid off most of it. There's still a little bit left that I still have to pay. Okay, so I want to be just straightforward about it. Um, okay, so <clears throat> this medical bill was there for months. Um, I think it was for a service that I had back in like September of last year. Okay, and you know the the, the hospitals, they um, and medical facilities they allow you to go several months before they send you to collections and um, it has not been sent to collections um, and each month I was like oh, I'll pay that next month oh, I'll pay that next month it wasn't like a utility bill that where they would turn off your lights or something okay it was a medical bill and you know you have a little bit more time with medical bills well the Lord corrected me on this We need to be paying our bills. If we don't pay our bills, we are stealing. We are stealing. If you come into an agreement for a service, you need to pay for that service. And, um, you know, I had the means to pay at least a little on it each month, but I kept putting it off. And that was incorrect. The Lord wanted me to share this because, um, you know, we are in the process of being refined. When you refine gold, you make it p more pure, okay? This is just a, a, a another avenue of refinement that he's doing right now through me and I'm sure through others now since he told me to share it. Um, if you have a bill that you've been sitting on, pay it. He wants me to make the distinction between just sitting on a bill and um, between that instance and the instance of, you know, paying a little bit every month because you can't afford it, okay? Or having to choose one bill from another each month because you can't afford it, okay? That's a different situation. But when you're just sitting on the bill, just to sit on it, you are stealing. Psalms 37:21 says, the wicked borrows but does not pay back, but the righteous is generous and gives. Romans 13, seven says, pay to all what is owed to them. Taxes to whom taxes is owed, revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, and honor to whom honor is owed. Don't sit on your bills. If you have the means to pay it, pay it. We shouldn't be in debt to anybody. It says that in the word, I did not look up the reference for that so I'm sorry for that but it does say that we should not be in debt um, it is important to try to get our debts paid off and when, when you choose willingly choose not to pay a bill you're stealing and it's wickedness he wants me to shift gears and talk about borrowing money um, <clears throat> When you come into agreement that you're gonna borrow money from someone, you need to follow through and pay that money back to them. It says, the wicked borrows money but does not pay back. It is wickedness to promise someone you will pay them back and not pay them back. It is wickedness and God detests it. 
cover on the other side. It says, but the righteous is generous and gives. Okay, so let me give you an example. Being in ministry, I have a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a lot, there have been many, many instances where the Lord, someone has asked me for money and the Lord has um, guided me to go ahead and, and lend them money, okay? But he has told me that um, I need to be giving as a cheerful giver, generous, without expectation of getting it back. Because he knows most people do not follow through on paying back. He knows this. It says the righteous is generous and gives. And gives. Not lends. Gives. So <clears throat> I, I look at it this way. The Lord has blessed me with the income that I have. It is enough to pay my bills. Right? I, I'm not rich. I don't have much extra at all. But, but he has blessed me with income and a job. And, it, and, and so that money is his. He's giving it to me. It's his. If he tells me to help someone, I will help. Now, there have been times where, where he has told me no. You know, and I've had to tell the person no, and that's hard. Um, you got to be led by the spirit, but but he um, when someone when you lend okay, thank you, Lord. When you lend someone money and they do not pay you back, the Lord doesn't want you to hold resentment against them because that hinders your relationship with him it hinders your relationship with them it it fosters unforgiveness it is a big mess okay when you go into the situation when you're lending money to someone expect that they don't pay you back and if they do great wonderful what a blessing or else don't go into the agreement because most people don't pay back. And and the Lord doesn't want you to foster any kind of resentment or unforgiveness in your heart that that hinders you, okay? Now, on the flip side, when they don't pay you back, there's something between them and God then. Because God counts every debt and he he takes account of everything. So if they don't pay you back, you better be sure they're going to pay God back. But at that point, it's not your concern. It's between them and God. If you have let it go, it's between them and God. Oh, oh good, it worked. Okay. Uh, sorry, my camera goes out on me. That's why I don't use my camera very often. Like, if you've noticed, I don't get on here very often. It's usually just audios because my camera on my phone is no good. Um... So sometimes it goes out on me and whatever. Anyway, I'm back. Um, so I think that's all he wanted me to say. So let's recap. We need to be paying our bills um, and not just sitting on them. We need to pay back the people that we owe money to. And we need to forgive those who have not paid us back. Okay? Because God deals with it on their end. Um... Is there anything else, Lord? Refinement, refinement, refinement. He's saying refinement. We're coming out pure. We're coming out pure when we follow his refinement. When we obey him and, and do things as he leads us to do, he is refining us. He's making us pure before him. And, in, in, and, and with that purity, he is able to use us in a more effective manner. Do you know it sets us apart? 
it sets us apart from the rest of the world. Holy, it makes us holy. It makes us holy. Being holy is not easy. But we are called into holiness. And it is only by his spirit that we are able to accomplish these things. It is only by his spirit and how and his refinement that we are able to accomplish these things. And 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 oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, so he's saying that as we are being refined, we're being made pure. We're being made where he can use us. We are being, we are putting ourselves in the position to be blessed by him. And we are also storing up blessings and treasures in heaven. We are keeping ourselves away from being sinful and breaking any of his commandments. This is what refinement does. It's keep it's it's protecting us. It's blessing us. It's putting us a position where he, we can be used by him and it's storing up treasures in heaven. That's it. I love you guys.